Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian and today we are going to discuss Atonement by Ian McEwan. It is summer in 1935 and a family is awaiting the return of their son. In this book, we have perspectives from different people, but in the first part of the book, we're mostly following that of Bryony's and she is the youngest daughter in this family. She is 13 years old. She is very inquisitive and inventive, imaginative, and she considers herself to be a writer. Bryony is busily preparing for her brother's return and she has written a play that she plans to perform for her brother. While she is running around, she happens to see a flirtation that takes place between her older sister, Cecilia, and the son of their maid. This observation of the flirtation and also the interception of a rather explicit note ends up causing this kind of perfect storm to unfold. Essentially, this night becomes the axis around which the entire story turns. Though the book Atonement spans decades, it is actually quite a slow burn. The first the first and longest part of the book takes place over the span of one day. The book itself is a little over 300 pages and the first part, this single day, takes up 175 pages. Atonement is a very beautifully written book, but the description is really about the landscape in which you are, the surroundings. So he does a very good job of pulling you into the story so you feel like you're right there and seeing the things that are happening and feeling the things that are happening. However, you really don't get a great sense of the characters in the story. I didn't really like any of the characters, but I also don't feel like I really understand who they are. This is not the sort of book where after it was done, I've spent a lot of time thinking about the characters themselves. It's also not the sort of book where after I close it, I wish that I were back in it. I'm completely satisfied after finishing it and there's really no more story to be told and I'm fine with that. But it did leave quite the mark on me. I am thinking about this book and I am pondering it. And the thing that I'm really thinking about is perspective. The characters are very young at the beginning of the book. As I mentioned, Bryony is 13 years old, but her siblings aren't that much older. So one of the things that this book made me think about is the things that we do when we're young. We make some pretty stupid decisions. It's amazing and unfortunate how something that you do or you say when you're this naive child can really affect everything. Bryony is an extremely imaginative person. She's a writer. She's supposed to be looking around and observing things and then drawing her own conclusions, creating stories out of what she sees in the world. And she takes that to a level that is unfortunate. As the saying goes, there are two sides to every story, perhaps even more than that. We really need to be careful about how we see other things that people are doing our reactions to things that we think that we see, and maybe just to be a little bit more kind in our interpretations. The ending to this book was quite powerful. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what that ending is, but when I was reading the book, as I was drawing closer and closer to the end, I was thinking, well, you know, this is an okay book. It's, it's a good book. And it kept on kind of elevating in my mind as I was reading. And then in that last portion, when I read it, I closed it and yes, you know, it was exactly what the ending needed to be in order to make the most impact. I can't really say anymore because I do not want to spoil this for you, but oh my goodness, I absolutely loved it. And then I looked it up afterwards and I found that a lot of people think it is one of the worst endings to a book that they have ever read, which kind of blew my mind. But it's also the beauty of opinions that everybody has their own and I'm so happy that we don't all enjoy the same thing. If you have read this book, did you like the ending? I'm curious though, if it did not have the ending that it had, would it still have been such a great book for me? Clearly the whole idea of perspective has stuck with me. When a book sticks with me and really causes me to think and brings me back to it, it becomes that much better of a book. At this point for me, I'm thinking five stars. I did not love the characters, but I clearly can't quite let go of the story and it has impacted me at quite a deep level. 
If you would like to see what else I plan on reading this month, I think I have a good lineup. Please check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.